Making loose leaf tea is really not that complicated. It's not gonna ruin your life. It's gonna make it so much better. As you can see, industrial grade tea bag tea is not the same as a beautiful leaf tea. It does take a bit more expertise to make, but it'll flood your life with pleasure. There's only three things to consider to make really amazing tea. The first thing to consider is your leaf to water ratio, how much leaf to how much water. Leaf teas are not all the same shapes and sizes, so it can seem a little complicated to get exactly the right measure. But actually, you've got a teaspoon, which is pretty good for a broken grey leaf tea. So for English breakfast, Earl Grey, you want a level teaspoon. For whole leaf teas, whole leaf black teas, whole leaf green teas, some of the herbs, they're a little bit bigger and need a larger measure and a dessert spoon works pretty well. The real accuracy is about 2.5 to 3 grams for a black tea and about 2 grams for a green tea. If you want to be geeky, use a micromilligram scale and get it absolutely bang on. To measure the right amount of water, those measurements I gave you are for a teacup. All teacups are the same size, they're 150 milliliters. You can pour the water from the kettle into the teacup and then into your pot. You've got exactly the right measure. If you're using our glass teapots, we have them specially made so that if you fill it just to where the spout hits the teapot, that's exactly 150 mil. Bang on. If you're using a mug, use a little bit more tea. The second thing to consider is your temperature. You wouldn't make a cake by spinning the dial on the oven. You need a specific temperature, and it's the same for tea. Different flavours dissolve at different temperatures. For green tea, for example, the soft, sweet, grassy flavours dissolve at around 70 degrees. For black tea, to bring out the caramel, malty notes, about 85. And if you want to use milk, you might go as high as boiling to bring out the tannins to balance those milk proteins. You also need boiling water for herbal infusions to dissolve the essential oils for rooibos, for lemongrass, get the water as high as you can. There's one exception, chamomile. You get a much sweeter, more beautiful flavor, treating it like a green tea down at 70 degrees. It'll taste like a summer meadow. So for example, to make green tea, we're going to use two grams of tea. I make a lot of tea, so I know exactly what two grams is, but it's a pretty much a level dessert spoon. In order to get the temperature exactly right, it's not terribly complicated. You can either use a temperature control kettle, which is pretty easy to come by, or you can put a little cold water into the pot first. To reduce boiling to 70 degrees, you need about 50 ml of cold water, which is about two fingers worth in this teapot. And then you add the hot water. Then the third variable comes in, infusion time. As a rule of thumb, the best flavours dissolve in about the first 90 seconds. After that, you're extracting tannin. If you want really strong tea, add more tea to the pot. You'll get deeper, richer flavour. By extending the infusion to two or three minutes, what you're doing is extracting more tannin and making it more bitter. Not stronger, but more bitter. So for green tea, I like it around 90 seconds. That's the best for me. If I'm really trying to draw out deeper flavours, I might leave it two minutes. It's really important to pour your tea down to the last golden drop. That stops the tea infusing. It won't become bitter. And then you can re-infuse your tea many times. As the water penetrates deeper into the leaf, it reveals more elegant, subtle flavors. Wow. You know, I've drunk that tea so many times and it still amazes me. Once you've finished your tea and you're ready for a second cup, simply use the same leaf. Depending on the tea, you can get multiple infusions. For a green tea, two or three. For an oolong, six, maybe more. It might seem expensive, but from a teaspoon of tea, you'll get oceans of pleasure. <laughs>